Hello pilots of the internet, welcome to Power Up. In this video I am teaching you how to fold a beautiful paper airplane called A9 Eagle, which works really well with the Power Up 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0 modules. You can also throw it on its own and it works well in that way too with a slight modification. So as you can see, this plane has a really elegant shape. I love the way it looks. I love the way it flies. This is just a great paper airplane. So let's get started. All you will need in order to fold A9 Eagle is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper or an A4 sheet will work for you as well. And the first thing you need to do is decide, are you throwing this around on its own or are you flying this with a power up module? If you're throwing it on its own, you'll want to go ahead and start by just folding about two inches down like so, and then you'll follow all the other steps of this video as normal. If you are using it with a power up module, you'll want to start with your sheet just like this. And in either case, we're going to begin by folding our right edge to the left edge. And we can open that up. And now we want to take our top edge here and fold it to our left edge with our crease going right through that top left corner. And we'll open that up. And now we can do the same thing on the other side, taking this edge to our right edge. Again, our crease goes right through that top corner. And we can open that up once more. Next, I want to fold this top edge into the center, but I'm actually going to leave just a slight gap because one of our future steps is going to push this layer in closer to the center and we don't want it to cross over that central crease. So again, we'll do that same thing on the other side as well. And you can see your paper should look like this. And again, you're gonna have just a little gap between your layers and the center crease. And next we want to take this edge here and land it on our diagonal crease. So it should look like that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now I will flip this whole thing over. And you can see we have this intersection of diagonal creases. I've got a diagonal crease here and diagonal crease there, and right where it intersects in the middle, I want to fold a horizontal crease that goes right through that. And you can kind of see on the other side, you can find those same diagonal creases as you're revealing it, and use that as your reference as you crease. Okay, and then you can unfold and flip over and just kind of poke that middle point so your edges want to pop in. And then you continue to pull in and you're gonna be creasing on this crease and this crease. Just pull in like so. And you end up with this kind of tower. And what you're going to do is open up those sides and kind of push down on this, right like so, and collapse it as it wants to collapse and try to land this center crease on this top layer on the center crease of this bottom layer. And your plane should look like this. Next, we're going to fold this whole section here up as high as it'll go. And we'll turn the paper over. And now we want to fold this whole thick triangular section. You're gonna kinda of wanna grab it here. And you can see we have a crease on this layer and we're going to be kind of using that crease and swinging along it, but we have to make a new crease here as we do so. And yes, these layers are thick and a little bit difficult to work with, but hopefully you got it. And now we can just fold our plane in half using that existing center crease. 
and your plane should look like this. Next we just need to fold our wings and you can see we're going to start our crease a little bit above the nose and we want it to go maybe an inch, about an inch up from this corner right here. And so you're gonna have to really work on this thick section as you do that. And you're gonna try to maintain a constant angle from the front to the back where you're really doing a very slight slope like so, and you can see I folded one nice, very broad wing, and that's what you want when you're flying with the power up modules especially, so you want a nice broad wing for this plane. Okay, and then we'll flip that over and fold this other side to match. And there you go, we can open these layers up and you can see we have what is a finished A9 Eagle. And if you want to, you can cut elevators. You have kind of two options here. The plane's gonna wanna nose down a little bit once you attach your module. So you can either kind of just curl these back edges of your wings up, or you can get some scissors. And if you use scissors, be sure to keep your plane folded in half. And then just give it one little cut like so. And that way it's the same on both sides. And you can kind of bend your elevator up like that. So then all you have left to do is to attach your module. So I have one here and you're looking for these little prongs. Put that tooth there in the middle and just slide it right on like so. And you can go ahead and apply your crossbar too, which is going to kind of give these wings some added rigidity. Just put it like that twist it on, it'll snap on, and then just scoot it forward like so, and you have a finished A9 Eagle. So go out there and have fun flying. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe for more amazing paper airplane content, and check out some of these other videos we have for you here. I think you might like them.